In the past two months, we've had an Auditor General's report. We've had an Integrity Commissioner report. We now have a criminal investigation into the Ford government. The last time we saw such a criminal investigation during the gas plant scandal with the previous government, we had a premier resign and a premier's chief of staff uh, go to jail. The bottom line is the premier cannot talk his way out of a criminal investigation. And while the premier has seemingly backtracked on his decision to open protected Greenbelt land for development, the government is plowing ahead with enforced urban boundary expansions and abuse of ministerial zoning orders that we are learning daily is benefiting wealthy, well-connected Ford insiders in the same way that the government's Greenbelt process led to benefits being directed to wealthy Ford-connected insiders. I encourage the RCMP to broaden their criminal investigation to not only include Greenbelt land swaps, but to also include all land grabs being put forward by the Ford government. So many people in communities across this province cannot find an affordable place to call home. Young people are wondering if they'll ever be able to afford to buy a home. Many people in communities across the province can barely afford rent. And instead of having a government focused on building homes that people can afford in communities they want to live in, this government instead has wasted time, money, and resources focused on land grabs that benefit a handful of wealthy, well-connected Ford insiders. I'm saying it has to stop. It has to stop now. And this government needs to focus on building homes people can afford on the land that is already approved for development.